Welcome to Lake Street News. I'm Zuki. And I'm Jeremy. Happy spring. Let's get right to the news. Last Friday was St. Patrick's Day. As a little celebration on Lake Street News here, we decided why not educate some people on what the holiday is all about. Now, nowadays, everybody sees St. Paddy's Day as an excuse to go and party and drink with your friends. But that's not really what happened back in the old days. St. Patrick's Day is celebrated in honor of St. Patrick, a Christian missionary and bishop from Ireland. Most of what we know about him comes from the Declaration, which is written by the saint himself. It is said that he was kidnapped by Irish raiders when he was 16 years old and was taken as a slave to Gaelic Ireland. He spent six years there working as a shepherd. It was during that time that he found God. He claims that God told him to flee to the coast where a ship would be waiting for him to go home. He made his way home and then went to become priest. Tradition tells that he died on March 17th. The legend built up around him leading to the celebration we know today. In other news, last week we were blessed with a midweek weekend. The snowstorm named Stella dumped about 17 inches of snow on Ithaca. However, the town that received the most snow in Tompkins County was Caroline, with a whopping 24 inches. Fortunately, Stella only resulted in three reported injuries resulting from auto collisions. However, we are sure that everyone enjoyed the time off. Along with most school districts, Cornell campus closed its classes Tuesdays and Wednesdays for the first time in over a decade. While Stella is not going to be the biggest snowstorm to hit central New York, it's still rather impressive as far as a blizzard goes. In other news, last Saturday, Tom Reed, our congressman, came to Ithaca to host a town hall debate. As expected, tensions rose and there were many disagreements. To understand this tension, it's time for a little bit of history. Reed represents the 23rd district of New York, which is a region that spans much of central New York and includes Ithaca. While Ithaca tends to swing very liberal, most of central New York tends to swing very conservative. During his first election in 2010, he used bashing Ithaca as a platform to get elected as a Republican representative, and did the same in 2016 during the re-election. On Thursday, Ithaca residents held sit-ins in his office. He, he surprised them by t talking to them for two hours in an impromptu debate. In town hall on Saturday, Reed brought up many issues near and dear to Ithacan hearts, the ACA, Planned Parenthood, environmental environmental issues, and public education. Reed was of the view that we should repeal the ACA, cut funding for Planned Parenthood and the EPA, and put less emphasis on public schools. While a staple of the Republican platform, it was met with great opposition in Ithaca. Over the course of the debate, a crowd grew outside, and during the debate, boos and some shouting could be heard. Also in politics, the most recent update on Tompkins County becoming the sanctuary county from last month. The proposal went to Tompkins County Legislator on Tuesday, February 21st. No updates on Tompkins State have been made since. The Sanctuary County would allow immigrants and refugees to live in Tompkins County without any question. Law enforcement would not be allowed to ask about the details of their immigration unless completely relevant to investigation. Legislator Will Burbank claims that he, quote, would like a simple, symbolic, we are a sanctuary city kind of feel and also feels that the changes are, that are happening at the national level are, quote, brutally repressive, grossly unfair, and would hope that communities all over America would stand up and say, we refuse to go along. Well, that's all for this week, guys. I'm Zuki. And I'm Jeremy. See, See you, you next time, time IHS. IHS. And uh, oh boy. Sean, why are you laughing so Tom Reed, what a guy.